Hi there and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of the messaging system on your Moodle site as the admin so that students don't get frustrated when they accidentally try to befriend a faculty member or someone accidentally and then they can't retrieve that. Or if you're the admin and you're trying to get rid of them and you can only do it one at a time, you can't get rid of the messages in bulk. So to avoid all that, there is a solution. Get rid of it and get a plugin called Mail instead. So let me show you how that's done. And if you have any questions, feel free to use the comment box below and ask away. I'll be happy to help. So let's get started by going into the administration. Of course, you have to be the admin. Next, I'm going to go into search and I'm going to write the word message. And here we are. Next, I'm going to show you what you will have instead. So notice it says mail and this is what it looks like. You can compose, uh, you can do it for all courses or for each course, it's a different mail. The participants may be able to use it to compose if you allow them or not, depends on you, the admin, or the teachers and whether you give everyone rights or not. Notice there's the inbox, starred, sent, drafts, and trash. So you can get rid of them by bulk, not just one at a time the way you can with the message. So I'm going to go into appearance under appearance, I'm going to get rid of it because notice it is here, messages, and I don't want it there because that's going to give an error message. So here I am going to go into advanced theme settings, click on that. And then I'm going to scroll down until I get to over here and get rid of messages. There, gone. Don't need that anymore. It's just a nuisance and people can get hurt. Next, I am going to see what I have. Going to go into home and one of my courses. Notice it's not here anymore. Notice it's not here. It was there before. Going to go into a course. Let's take this one, for example. And then this is for each course. I'm going to go to the mail. And students can do this as well as I said, if they're allowed to. So I can send messages to any of the participants here by going into compose, and then I can access them this way. Or I can go into participants, and then I can tick them all off or anyone that I want off. Notice I ticked them all, at least, um, the 20 of that page. I can go to show all and tick them all, or I can tick specific ones. Next, I'm going to go into notice choose here. It doesn't have the message anymore that used to be here. It has send mail. So I'm going to click on send mail, notice two or CC, or I can send them as BC. So let me do the this one and then I get a list of all of them. Next I'm going to add the subject line, how are you, just to show you, and then add the message and then send it. And that's it. It'll stay there. Notice if I go into my course, I'll have my other courses as well. I can go into any of my courses and then I can go into my inbox into starred messages, sent messages, drafts, trash, and notice I can get rid of all of these and just trash them. Delete them forever. The course is over. I don't need them there. It's not like with a messaging system that stay with you. And that's that. Let me know if you have any questions and enjoy sending messages to your students and not feel that it's a burden and they won't feel that it's a burden either. Thank you for watching. Questions are always welcome.